just days after a series of deadly earthquakes rattled Afghanistan's western province of Herat, another powerful tremor struck the same area, destroying hundreds more homes and sending survivors running for their lives yet again. After the first quake occurred on Saturday, none of us had the guts to sleep inside our houses since they were partly damaged, and now all of them are destroyed. Officials said there were no details on casualties so far. After Wednesday's 6.3 magnitude quake, authorities have redeployed relief and rescue teams already in the field. The Taliban-run government said more than 2,400 people were killed and over 2,000 injured in Saturday's tremors, one of the deadliest in the world so far this year. The World Health Organization said women and children make up the majority of the victims. <laughs> On Tuesday, Red Crescent Society workers said many of the people coming in didn't have proper food or clean drinking water. They also said many people did not have tents and that they were treating people for pneumonia. Relief and rescue efforts have so far been hampered by crumbling infrastructure and a lack of foreign aid, which has dried up since the Taliban took over the country. The European Union, United Nations and several countries have pledged to send donations and relief packages.